Virgo. King of Wands in first. Crossed by Star in first. King of Pentacles. Six of Cups. Ace of Swords. Hagman in first. Lovers. Ten of Pentacles. Temperance and Fool. Okay, Virgo. I think. It, this is almost feeling like a match and who's running away with the money? Yeah, it's Virgo. <laughs> Something like that. So maybe you just watch a movie or that's what's going to happen. Because you have clarity over it. Uh, what's influenced in the complete reading is the King of, Pen King of Pentacles. Um, you know, you are the one with the money. You are the one also with the stability. Lots of stability here because of your mindset. The only thing to work on is leadership. So it's possible that you are insecure about your leadership skills. Because when you are in that position, you also need to probably have some followers or literally, or they need to know what the goal is or what your vision is, or what you do have in mind. So if you didn't speak up about something, maybe it's time to talk about it. It might be that people are influenced by something else, but you are earning the money with it. Okay, so they're coming to you to buy it or to get something. But they're being influenced by others. Buying this certain thing, or this could also be an advice for Virgo. Alright, so it's possible that you know what people like what's important for people because you have clarity over this also in your connections and relationships you have clarity what they want what's important for them and it has to do with stability Ace of Swords clarified by Eight of Wands and the Four of Wands uh, Four of Swords Your person is taking a break. So also when it comes to a relationship or connection or friendship, this is someone who is returning. But this is just a break. Could also be that they're on holiday. It's possible that they are in an emotional um, state that whatever this emotional state is that they need a break so for example if they were if they have been working a lot then they need some holiday right now and they need some rest uh, this could also be just simply a very relaxed kind of person that are and i think they're more relaxed because they're coming out of a difficult period So this is also Virgo about leadership and getting clarity and texting and messaging people. Uh, maybe you are a salesperson or you are thinking about doing sales. It's a lot about money again. I see that in uh, the other readings as well. That's more so about money than about love. For you Virgo, it's not only about money, but now also leaderships come in and that's something maybe you do not like so much but it's needed or this is a team that is coming up well maybe you know someone else who can do that right hangman in reverse clarified by six of swords and strength in the near future for Virgo. Okay, so you do feel this as a sacrifice. But did you make that choice, Virgo? Did you make the choice to do this? Then this is part of it as well. Lovers in reverse, clarified by hero friends in reverse and ten of cups in reverse. 
Okay, again, just like with Aries, I have the feeling with this card combination for Virgo, that is something that you do not really go with your whole heart into it. It's difficult to connect with it. It's difficult to, you know, make that long-term decision in this because it feels very unconventional. It's not something you would normally do. So are you going against your own common sense? Are you going against just for the money? Yeah. So they'll be like, who, f you know, for like Cinderella, who's f who fits the shoe? It's, you feel at a certain moment that you're sacrificing something or maybe more than a little bit. But yeah, if you're an entrepreneur or if you have a higher position, it's always like that. People complain, you know, a lot about leaders and everything, but if they would, if they have to do it, Virgo, nope. And that's also in your situation. So maybe I'm, I'm a little direct right now, but maybe it's just not for you. Also the money is worrying you. Okay, so the money that's coming in, that's also like, would you do this? Also, if this is about your family, it's all about stability and maybe you need to get a job that you do not like, but you need to maintain your family. So this is a lot about responsibilities that you are taking and there's new responsibilities coming in. yeah indeed like that it's just you know it's if you love doing this thing if you're passionate doing this and then it's a completely different energy if you're really passionate about something you're really going for it it doesn't matter even when it's very Ill not logic and people say oh you cannot do that you know but you can because you're very passionate about it and you're just okay going for it also when it's within your vision you know but it seems almost like this is just not exactly what you feel is for you and i don't know you know what's actually <laughs> you know what what is everyone doing in a job that they actually do not it's almost like the people who want a certain job don't get it and they have the skills, they have the knowledge, they can do, you know, the best, they make this thing the best. And when you're going to do an inter job interview, they are they won't hire you, but they will, they hire someone else with a completely different background, different job uh, experience than what the job is actually about. <sighs> is this about that equality still? That you cannot get a job uh, not that you're not going to uh, give you the job because you have the experience but because they already have three blonde people and two dark people so they need one rat in the company right <laughs> what a joke man yeah then at a certain time all companies are just of course you know not running well <laughs> because it's not based upon because people are not being you know hired for their skills and to run the company but just based on their looks right it's not working so you probably look like a certain person like Virgo would do this kind of job but uh, it's actually not for you right it's not what you're good at and you're not being seen for your skills but you do get a lot of money for it, it brings in stability and everybody believes it when they see your face that you're exactly that person that needs to do the job but maybe people who normally have this you know those skills just look very different as well i don't know there's something mixed up here with um well there's of course a lot of things you know but <sighs> yeah okay so what i see here uh, for Virgo, what you can work on and what we can solve here, because there's definitely a lot of things that you can solve with the Ace of Swords. 
because you get clarity over it. Okay, it's time for healing here with the temperance. So when it's just simply you couldn't see it before and now you see it. So it's a matter of um, having overview on the situation because King of Wands shows up in the first. So having overview over the situation, knowing, uh, analyzing it completely. What kind of job is this or what kind of situation you are, are you in? Um, well, how would it new? How would other people solve this that are successful in solving this certain thing, right? Who did this already before? There's a lot of people before you who lived on this earth, Virgo. So you're not the first who experienced this. How did they solve this? There's plenty of information online. Okay, maybe you don't get to the right information. Then maybe you search for a public computer. Be solution oriented, it's, it's your strength at the moment. Your strength is to really get to those solutions. If you need some healing to see things more clear, you can visit the EFT tapping list on my channel. Your hopes and fears, temperance clarified by Eight of Cups and Fears and that. Yeah, you hope that this will be solved. And I think also you can. When I see these cards, I feel you can. But you need to have more overview. So maybe tap on uh, videos about um, yeah, about clarity, about having more overview, about... Uh, I think this is also about leadership, like I said. Having a vision more, knowing where you're heading to. Um, what is it actually that you want to achieve? Things like that. I think for you guys, you also have a great skill in uh, where, 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 where a lot of people suck in customer service. I think you do have uh, enough, uh, how do you say that, like practical empathy for people when they are having a problem, you know the solution for it. Uh, so that could be customer service, it could be in a, in a technical job, uh, reparations, uh, how do you say the reparations, <laughs> this is in English. You're repairing stuff, um, you know, where things are broken and you solve it, you repair it. But I don't think this is very psychological. I think it's more um, as a analyst or as a, a coach is possible with practical matters like money or other stuff, finances or... Uh, that you come up with solutions for people and this is probably where you earn a lot of money with it's maybe not something you like but it seems that you are very good at it maybe no one's seeing you like that but that's um exactly you know maybe people see that already but maybe there's so much in a certain pattern in their life already having in their mind what kind of face would fit to the job and maybe your face doesn't fit into it but your skills do Okay, yeah, I think this is are the most confusing times, especially for people who grow up right now, you know, it's just a bad first impression of the world. <laughs> but yeah, full, clarified by King of Cups in reverse and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to do something new. Okay, so whether you stay in this certain kind of job or, you know, you're going to do it all over. The thing is, you are already on, uh, you know, you're already here. These cards already show that you're doing very good and that you're doing cl having clarity of things. So maybe it's for Virgo important also not to stop something that is already working, but it's often in continuing And just keep going and, and developing things better. And that people get to know you for this skill. And that's also where your, um, where your strength is. Yeah. 
yeah, and it might be that you don't feel appreciated for it. But yeah, if you, if this is something you like, then definitely go for it. Give it a try, maybe next to your job or as a hobby or something. And if this is something you really don't like, but you can earn money with it, it's also possible this is a one step going towards what you love. So for Virgo, I think don't give up immediately on something or someone. You are still in a, some kind of process, but you will start soon with something completely new, with completely clean slate. They will miss you a lot somewhere where you worked for, which you actually didn't like. Like, they really, I think you have even a possibility, or maybe you have to make that possibility that you return back to that company or to that place. So that's what I get for sure. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.